Hello and welcome back to Gage Hill Crafts. I'm Sarah Scully and today I thought I'd share with you another um, holiday recipe for something that you can make yourself at home. Um, and this is going to be for Swedish cardamom bread. This is something that I've been making the last two years and I found, I started with a recipe that I found online as a basis, um, but I've been modifying it a bit. And so I thought it was a good time to share modifications with you um, so that you can make this for your friends and family. Um, I switched from making cookies to making breads a few years ago and I really like the switch. Uh, making bread is a lot faster and um, it's more economical. You're not buying as many expensive ingredients like chocolate and, and lots of butter. Um, so if you're on a budget, and we certainly are, the bread is, is a really nice thing. It can still be you know wonderfully flavorful. Um, I think it looks nice and bountiful when you give a whole loaf of bread. Um, so that's, that's a wonderful thing to give. And people really do appreciate something a little bit different for the holidays. So one of the breads that I um, used to give and, and will still make occasionally is cranberry white chocolate bread. And I did a previous blog post about that one. You can find the recipe for cranberry white chocolate on our blog. And then you can also find the recipe for this cardamom bread on our blog as well. The link to that will be in the show notes uh, below this video. So this is a yeasted bread. It's pretty straightforward. It is a, an enriched bread. So the dough is similar to what we, you would use for something like cinnamon rolls. It's got eggs, butter, and sugar right in the dough to make it a little bit decadent and sweet. And then of course the cardamom, which if you're not familiar with cardamom, um, it's an interesting spice. It's sort of sweet and sort of spicy. Um, and it's in that class with uh, allspice, or cinnamon, um, but it's not as strong as either of those tastes. So it has a nice subtle uh, flavor to it. Um, the cardamom bread itself is slightly sweet, but not overly sweet. So it's a nice treat to have for breakfast. It's something that you can have at tea time. Um, if you're you know, gathering in, in the afternoon with people, it's great with coffee or tea. Um, and it's also a nice late night snack. So put a little butter on it and uh, toast a piece in the oven, and it's, it's lovely any time of day. So the way that you're going to make this bread is you're going to put um, all of the ingredients into a mixing bowl and either mix by hand or mix in a stand mixer with a dough hook attachment. Um, you really can't uh, use like a handheld mixer um, for this because those little mixers are not powerful enough. This dough is fairly stiff and fairly sticky. Um, and one of the tips that I have for how to know when your dough is the right consistency is that you hold back a little bit of the flour from the recipe and you go ahead and um, mix the rest of the ingredients pretty thoroughly. And then you can add the flour just a little bit at a time and wait a few minutes between each addition. And when you do that, your stand mixer will incorporate that excess flour gradually and the dough will sort of reach this sticky rubbery stage almost like silly putty and it will start to pull away from the bowl and that's how you know your dough is uh, ready to rise um, because it will be just moist enough but not too wet. Um, from there, you're going to leave the dough covered to rise for about an hour or a little bit longer. We keep our house pretty cold, so usually in the winter time, um, unless I've got the oven on and I'm doing a bunch of other things to heat up the kitchen, um, I usually have to wait maybe an hour and a half for my dough to rise. You want to punch it down, let it rest a few minutes, and then you're going to cut it up and braid it. This is a braided decorative loaf and then brush it with an egg wash, top it with a little bit more sugar, and pop it in the oven. And it's just delicious. Um, I made some for an event this morning, and people really appreciate it. Like I said, it is something a little bit different. So if people get tired of eating you know, sugar cookies or um, that kind of thing during the winter holidays, um, this is something nice that's a little bit different. And if, as always, if you decide to make this recipe or any of our other recipes, let us know what you think of them in the show notes. I'd love to hear your opinion or hear how people are receiving this gift. 
thanks again for joining me and tune in next week. Um, we're going to talk about another fun handmade gift that you can make at home. And uh, until then, have a great week. Happy holiday prep time. I hope it's fun and creative and not too stressful. Cheers.